Hello everyone, ArcTV here, and today I want to make a video talking about how to download and play official servers on Ark Survival Evolved PC. This is going to only be covering people who play on Steam or Epic Games. If you would like a video on how to handle it on console, please let me know in the comments, and if enough people do, I would gladly make one. So, first thing we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the link in my description, and it's going to bring you to this page right here. Now on this page, when you scroll down, you can either choose the August save or the final server save down here. Whichever one you choose, all you do is you hover over it and scroll down to the server that you want. I played on server 195, so let me look for that. Now I would just simply click it, and then I'd pick somewhere I want it to download, and download that file. Now... After you have done that, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start up your Arc. Whether it be Epic Games or Steam. So open up Arc. Let's give it a second to boot up here. Alright. Now after Arc is opened up, you're going to want to go to Host and Local. Now, whatever map that server is on, you're going to want to load and make sure you have a save of. So the one I'm do downloading is for Ragnarok, and I have to make sure I have a save for it. So I, since I do, I am okay, and now I can close my game. If you don't have a save for it, all you do is you just click on that map, click play single player, wait for it to boot up, and then you can close your game. The reason you're going to have to do this is so that there's a directory for that map later on. Alright, so you've downloaded the file, you have made a save of that map already, now your next step is to move um, the file's information into your arc save. So, you're going to want to go into wherever you downloaded that file. There are multiple different ways you can do this next step, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the file you downloaded from that website I had you go to. Um, it's going to look a little bit different than this. It's going to be a zipped file. You're going to have to extract it. Um, if you need any help with that, let me know in the comments and I will go through that. Otherwise, um, extract it and it'll come out like this. And you can extract it to wherever you want. Once you have it extracted, simply open up that file. What you're going to want to do is drag and highlight all of the files in that folder like this. We're going to wait till it gets to the bottom. It's almost there. Alright, now you're going to want to right click it. Now you can either cut or copy. I will copy for this instance. Alright, now that you've done that, you can either minimize or close this. Now come back to your Steam. Now you're going to click Properties. So right click on Arc Survival Evolved in Library. Go to Properties. Go to General. Wait, no, actually it's Installed Files. Sorry. Go to Installed Files. And then go to Browse up here on the top right. Now once you're in here, go to Shooter Game. Go to Saved. Now you should see your map in here. So this one's Ragnarok Saved. You can see Scorched Earth Saved. Whichever map you need to post this into is the one you click on. Since I need to go to Ragnarok, I'm going to go into there. Delete what's here at this time. So let's just delete all of this stuff. Yours shouldn't be quite this long. This is actually the same save that I'm going to post in here. Let's go in here and just delete all these. Go through that process. Just about done. Alright, now once you've deleted everything out of there, um, you just paste what you brought with you into this save. Give it a few more seconds here. You'll have one more step before you can run this now. Epic Games should be same idea. I don't know where the directory is. 
but it should be the same process that I'm showing you here. There must be an easy way to go to properties just like I showed Steam there. And you just copy and paste the same. Alright, once you have everything in there, like it should be. There we go. Yep, everything's here. Once everything's in there, you make sure you copy and pasted everything. You can close this out now. Next, what you're going to want to do is go back to that link that I gave you in the description of this video. And you're going to see this right here. This little text line. Copy it from here to here. So just simply click copy. Now go back to your Steam or Epic Games. And Epic Games is a little bit different. For Epic Games, just follow this. For Steam, follow this. I will show you Steam's version here. So on Steam, we're going to right-click Arc again, go to Properties. Now in general, we scroll down to the bottom, and there's Advanced Users may choose to enter Launch Options, and you just paste that line right there. Now if you've done that, close that, and open up Arc. As long as you have followed all of these steps so far, you should be in the clear and ready to launch that server. So now once you have Arc loaded up, go to Host and Local, go to the map you wanted, and all you do is you click Play Single Player, and it's going to load up that server. Now as long as you followed all of those steps to a T, you will be loaded into your official Arc server. Now when I loaded into mine, it brought me my character back with the same account. Um, I hope it does for you guys as well. My nice uh, 164, I guess, account. <laughs> um, there you guys go. Uh, if there was anything confusing here or anything you would need a little bit better explained, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to help you. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to Arc TV for more Arc content in the future. I will be covering Arc 2 and Arc Ascended. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.